Hi all, Van Andy here. Right, I have received a Sheffrey air fryer from Sheffrey, the AFW20 air fryer. Um, thank you, Daniel, for sending it. He'd like me to review this on my channel. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this unboxed and I'll get it onto the bench and um, we'll take a little look at it. Okay, let's have a little look at this more in depth now. Get the usual uh, user manual with it. Um, tells you everything you need to know in the user manual. And um, one thing I like is a nice little cooking chart you get with it as well. And um, that tells you all about air frying, the temperature, the times, different things you can do with it and everything. Um, really good information on there. Um, it, it tells you basically, like you say, you've got chicken wings, um, if you need to oil them first, how long and what temperature. Very, very handy little information. You get your little warning ticket with it, what you do, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. That's also in the manual. And um, you also get a chef free, uh, be your own chef, um, chef free warranty card. Um, for your registration and everything with it so uh yeah let's have a little look at the uh air fryer right as you can see here you can probably see my reflection in there as well little on off button tell you of us uh saying ready on there um your drawers two nice four liter drawers there now um i do like as well the little system here um you can actually when you pull these out, they need to be tilted at a 45 degree angle. So it makes it easier, you just tilt them, pull them out. Now you'll notice inside here as well, you've got a couple of little lugs on either side. And um, what you can actually do there is adjust the height on it. So you can put that in, slide it in, and there. You can have it higher up, which makes it easier for and better for your growing or whatever you're doing with it. So you can, that they're actually self-adjustable. But yeah, always when you pull these out, just tilt 45 degree angle and pull them out. And that makes it a little bit easier and that'll stop you pulling these rubbers off the side as well. Right, a little bit here. Um, in the book, cooking in your two basket air fry. Um, just some tips and everything. Right, you've got a smart programming air fry. Um, you can fry your foods like fries, cauliflower, bites, wings, nuggets, and more. That's your sort of recommended temperatures and your times on there. You've got a roost section. You can roost your foods like beef, lamb, pork, poultry vegetables and scalloped potatoes for a deliciously tender inside and browned outside and again temperatures and times we've got an air crisp feature on the air fryer which uh, you can get crispier fries wings chicken nuggets and more so if you'd like the stuff crispier yeah it's great we've got a broil section um using direct top down heat and perfect for melting cheese on french onion soup and nachos there's a bake section um you can bake your cakes bread pastries and more and again times um and recommended uh temperatures uh dehydrate now this is what i like um this is like a de dehydration um uses a lower temperature over a long period of time with dry foods such as dry fruit sorry dry dried fruit meat and vegetables um you set that like at 55 celsius eight hours okay i know it's a long time but if you like things like beef jerky etc well, I mean, you can do your own. It's so expensive in bags and chops and everything. Reheat. Um, you bring the crisp and the crunch back into the leftover fries, pizzas, stale bread in just a few minutes. Got a grill section. Um, yeah, raise the, crisp, raise the crispier plate and place it into the middle of the basket, how I just show you. And um, you get closer to the heating element. That's better for cooking um better cooking results suitable for grilling steaks etc yeah that's all in there um that's got a shake feature on it as well um where if you're putting something in 
uh, the air fry and uh, that needs shaken up, turn it over, whatever, little alarm come, um, come on and let, let you know when you're doing it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, nice little feature on here as well. You can't get this open, you need to press the button and release. I'll put a piece of bacon in there. So uh, let's get a bit of bacon cooked up and we'll show you how it works. So uh, basically, we'll switch it on, we'll select left, then you've got all your display which comes up there. Um, we'll air fry it. So we'll air fry that, left hand side, which is up, which is on there, as you can see. And um, <clears throat> basically, what we'll do, by using this feature here, you can select your temperatures, as you see there. And then this side will do your time. So um, if you go on to that side, there, and we'll do the time, we'll, we'll, we'll bring that time down to say, um, I don't know, 10 minutes at 190. Press your start button, there, and away we go. And what I like about this as well, um, just how, how quiet this air fryer is. You can hardly hear it, it's fantastically quiet. And then if you want to have a look, you've got a little light, light feature here. You can, you can press, press the light and uh, the light comes on. You can see your stuff cooking and it will go out after um, 20, 30 seconds. Anytime you want to see it, just press it again and you can uh, you know, uh, get your light and everything. But yeah, um, right, let's see how this bacon come out. Right, while that bacon's cooking away, you got this is uh, at the top here. You got your air intake system, and then obviously um, round the back here um, is it, it's where the air comes out. Um, if you pull it away from the wall, you, you just need to get that little space and that little gap, stop that overheating, um, burn and damage the wall, etc. But yeah, fantastic. Right, and now that's um, cooking away. We're now coming down. Now, if you want to have a little check, you got that light button in there. Just touch the light button and you can see um, inside the window there, bacon cooking. Um, six, four, three, two, one, end. And there you have it. You should now get some nice crispy bacon. Well, we hope we do. <laughs> we'll certainly find out finished open oh look at that now that's crispy bacon that's crispy bacon at its best now that is lovely and crispy now we don't want it done so long obviously then at the end of the day just reduce the time but for them people who like crispy bacon as well that is brilliant right let's have a little try crispy bacon and the afw 20 air fry Wow. Oh yeah. Mm, smoke as well. That is lovely. Mmm. That has done that spot on. Right, I'm now gonna try the grilling section. I wanna wanna do some toast basically as you would under the grill. So I've I brought the plate up to the middle level. One slice of bread, and I'll get it into the air fry. Right, that's the bread. We'll put that in. We'll start it up. And uh, we'll press the right-hand side to start off with. Brings everything up. And um, what we're going to do, we'll grill. We'll, use, we'll try the grill. So we're going to um, grill. Um... 205 that's splashing there for uh, 10 minutes so what we really want to do is to bring that temperature down so you come here um, on your left hand side of it and we'll bring that down to 190 we'll bring that down to let's go um, five minutes and I can always check on it and um, press start and we're away.
right let's see how this come out now as I say if you want to check at any time light and you can see that in there cooking away and you can see where I raised the plate right that's been now counting down for five minutes that bit of bread's been in there and that's done right let's have a look at the results and here it is right that's now toasted on one side it's starting to go crispy on that side so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put some cheese on this we'll have cheese on toast with it right so that's some cheese i've got who doesn't like a little bit of worcester sauce with cheese i reckon that's fantastic just stick that in there i'm just going to mix that in Oh, Worcester sauce and cheese on toast. Right, that's mixed. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get on this, get this on the other side um, of the bread now. Just spread it about a bit. I'm gonna put this in around about three to four minutes. Put that on there and we'll see how it come out. Right. So we get as toasted on that side of it. I'm going to drop that in there now, like so. And then go put this in to the air fryer. I dropped it in. I'll set it 190 for three minutes. Um, the, the toaster's in there with the cheese. Um, press start. And away we go. And we'll see what it does with the cheese on toast. If it come out okay. Right, here we have it. There's no counting down done what's it like oh look at that whoa just how you like it just how you like it and here it is oh look at that a lovely charring on top as well is it crispy oh yes it is wow look at that baby that is fantastic Please with that. Let's have a little go. We have a taste test after all. Wow. Oh yeah. That crunch is absolutely amazing. Wow. Right, next feature. Well, that cheese on toast was absolutely fantastic. Um, well impressed with that. Well impressed with the Chefry AFW20. Um, what I am going to do as well, I'm going to just bake some buns as well. Um, little chocolate buns. Use the bake section. Show you how it's done. And the, uh, another little feature on this, which is fantastic as well. You've got like your double drawers and everything. Um, if you want to cook something, say on your left hand side, and that takes 30 minutes and something on the right hand side say chicken one side chips the other um your, your, your chips really take say 15 minutes for argument sake you can sync these up as well everything's in the instruction book absolutely fantastic um we're just going to do some uh just do some little cake buns and everything stick it on the bake setting and uh, we'll sum up after they're done Okay, right, we're now gonna try the bake setting um, on the air fryer. So uh, I've just made some cake, got some cake mix, uh, the Dr. Rupert one. So I'm gonna make some cupcakes and we'll get them in the air fryer and uh, see really uh, how, how good it is at the old bacon. So I'm gonna get these into the cases and um, we'll get them in the air fryer. Right, cupcakes in the air fryer. Uh, I'm using booth drawers. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing set up. Right, into the air fryer. Touch. Set the left one up. We're gonna go bake. And uh, we are gonna go for, let's have a look here. 170 for 20 minutes which that is and then we're going to set the right one up and 
that's going to be bake as well. Like so. And then all we're going to do now is press start. And we're baking away. Now we've got left and right bacon. 170 set. Synced in together. That easy. And the beauty is, I've said before, what I like about this. You know, you can you can just basically just touch the lights, have a look inside, you know, both sides if you want, and you can see what's going on inside. That is ideal as well for Yorkshire puddings, etc. Right, and the cakes are done. And there we have it. You know the cupcakes. It's a bit hot at the moment. They are cooked to perfection. Oh wow. Get rub me rub. Yes. They are cooked absolutely beautifully. I am impressed. I am one impressed. Lovely. Right, let's sum this up. The um, AFW20 air fry. My, my own personal opinion, I think that's brilliant. And the feature I like about it, well, you've got the two drawers for a start, separate drawers. You can put something in one drawer something different in the other drawer, sync the times up, and one will be cooking away. Like I said earlier, if it's 30 minutes, that'll be cooking away, and the other one take 15 minutes, and then when it get down to 15 minutes, the other one will kick in and sync up. Brilliant, and I'll tell you what I do like as well, like I said, you've got a nice light in the V-Winder. The V-Winder's brilliant, because if you do anything like Yorkshire puddings or anything like that, at the end of the day, you know, that's nothing worse if you can't can't see it um if you, if you can't see the thing um you, you open up the air fryer i had that problem with my my old air fryer here that i bought all years ago and then i tried to do a yorkshire pudding in it and you don't know if it's cooked or not you can't see it you open it up you lose the heat and that can go flat where this is brilliant because you can see straight through the window great you don't have to open it enough and put the light on have a little look and away you go fantastic now this currently is selling for £119.99 but that's a fat handy discount and there's a link and I'll put that in the description I'll put it on the first line of the description for you people and that's 20 quid off so you're getting it for £99.99 and I reckon that's a brilliant price yourself. Now I've been looking at air, um, other air fryers in shops and uh, things like two, three litre ones and all like 70 quid and stuff. I think, Christ, you know, there's only a single thing where you pull out. This is dual, that's brilliant, that's got all your settings on there. You can just press slightly to bake and everything's preset for you. Um, that come um, with your guarantees and everything else. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 myself for the air fry. And these cakes, wow, absolutely, absolutely beautiful they come out. Nice, light, fluffy. Mmm, can't knock her. I will be using this air fryer as well in other videos and doing other stuff with it, so you'll see as we go along with it. But yeah, for now, fantastic. The Chefry, can't knock it. Have a look on the description, in my description on the video. As I say, the link will be on the top line you can go straight to if you're looking for an air fryer i do personally recommend it i really really do um and i'm honest with my opinions and everything um i can't knock it i really can't very very good product okay if, if you like this thumbs up comments below um what you think what you've seen um let me know and um if you don't subscribe yet please consider doing so um 
Anything that's for sale, be in the description. Have a little look, you know, see what you think. If you want it, click on the link and, and the discount is automatically applied. So you don't have to mess about putting anything in. Thanks ever so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.